Don't go wear out finger eating guitar string special. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. I know this doesn't have a furling mechanism. It's not that big of a deal here on this one. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this mini wind turbine here. If you could see inside the end there, there's a nut that mounts the uh, flywheel on the end of this, and it had to be gotten through. I had to buy a hole saw so I could drill that hole out bigger so I could tighten that up real good. And of course, got it on the drill and already did it. Well, I'd have had to look for a socket big enough to fit that nut, but when I went through it, it went right down, hit the nut and tightened it up for me, so that saved me the trouble. And we'll see if I can tighten it up a little bit more. And here's what it's going to be mounted on. Some heavy duty EMT. This is what they call one and a quarter. Pretty fat as far as I'm concerned. There's my thumb. My thumb is one inch. It looks like one and a half, but the inside diameter is one and a quarter. And I've got what I call a set screw coupling that goes for it. I'm going to put it on the end of the pipe and take my grinder and grind it right off or the cutoff wheel one. And this will slide down on here and be the bottom yaw bearing. The other half of it is going to sit right on top of it and I'm not going to tighten the screws on it. But I will drill a hole for one of these screws to go through so it doesn't slide down. And then we're going to put it up right there on the corner of the building. All right, the reason we're going to cut this, you see this indent right here, that only allows it, how did it get tight? That only allows it to go down so far and it hits the end of the, it hits the end of the pipe and stops right there. So we're going to go ahead and cut that. We're going to cut that indent right off and I'm going to flip this as the top of the bottom one. This is going to be the bottom of the top one. And this nice smooth surface will be pressed on the smooth surface of this, making a nice yaw bearing. A little bit of grease will help. Deburring the edges so you don't get a bunch of cut. Yeah. Let's see. That seemed to work just fine. We tighten this one down, we got it made. Well, let's see. That's sticking out, stop right there, hold my thumb on the file. We now have the measurement. Put my thumb right there. And I got a little bit extra, not much, I'm going to give it a little bit more, and that'll do fine. There you go, about three-eighths of an inch, sounds good. Now where these screws are, I'm going to tighten one of these up, make a mark on the pipe and drill a hole where I can put the screw through it, that way this piece will not move. There we go, that drill bit complements a JWWM2 uh, Christmas or my birthday last year. <laughs> and here we go. Got to make sure it spins freely all the way around. Add a little bit of grease to it. We're ready to put it up and slide the wind turbine on it. And the reason why I only I left about that much extra room is I want the conduit, I want the uh, PVC pipe to guide the wire up over the top without giving it too much to cut on. It's not going to be a long run, so it's not going to be too bad. Well, seeing as I only have a 10-foot piece to come into this bracket that was already existing on the building, I had a hard time getting it through there and sliding it down. And then when I got through this one, it got even harder. And right there, I put a screw on. There you go, now you can see it. I put a screw on top and through the pipe. I hammered and turned and hammered and turned until it went through. And got it sitting there to stop. And this uh, bracket right here, keep it from sliding down any farther. About four foot distance between these two. That's pretty good. I set that up there. 
the slide on. I've got the other coupling here in my pocket. So I gotta bring the wind turbine up there. I'm not gonna bring the camera up there and show you how to do that, but I will put the wire through before I go up. Connect those while I'm up there. And the wire should come down here to the bottom. It'll always be very easy to untwist from then on. And I might put some tape over the inside of that pipe up there. Check the wire. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and Other Home Energies. There's not much uh, time for the wind before it disappears today. So I'm going to get busy. Well, there it is. It's up. I put aluminum foil tape over the top of the hole up there. Keep the wire from rubbing. I will go up there one more time. I think I'm going to put a piece of wire up there that holds that main uh, power cable up over the center of the hole so it doesn't touch at all. But anyway, and the coax comes down. Everything's finished up. Everything up there is insulated. Heat shrinked. And here's the wire. i got to go back up. Run it across over here and down into my place. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up and give it a test. Right now there ain't very much wind. So, you can see the trees ain't doing anything. <laughs> but I think I can get it, I'm going to go ahead and give it a spin up test. I, it was trying to spin on me while I was up there. And I went ahead and tested the wire. I let it spin up and then shorted the wire. And that worked real well. So, I'm sure as soon as I uh, hook it up, that'll also give me the polarity and let me know in case I messed up on the polarity. If the motor's spinning backwards, uh, the color coding is backwards. Which I got spray paint for that. So, anyway, we'll give it a shot. Well, yep. As I expected, I will have to paint the wires because they are the opposite colors. The black one will have to be red and the white one will have to be black. But I got the right color spray paint. She's up and spinning. Now I'm going to disconnect and see how it does. Sounds like it's going the same speed. Isn't much wind out here right now. Yeah, she looks like she's slowing down. But I don't think it's going to stall out anytime soon. Let's show you one more test that I think is important. We'll spin it up. While it's spinning up, then we'll go ahead and short it out. Once you short it out, that's what should happen. You should be able to stop it if it's an efficient alternator or generator or DC motor. That shows efficiency. That means work is being turned into electricity and electricity can be turned into work. So I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and other home energies. We'll give you an update on this. I'll be glad to use the power. Uh, tomorrow's not going to be a windy day and tonight's not going to be windy, but the next day it's got some real nice winds. We'll see you then. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind, and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. One more thing while I'm at it. Oh, I love the sunrise and sunset. Look at that deep blue. <laughs> and what's really neat is the color of those clouds over there. These will get darker, and redder. <laughs> Beautifully streaked sky. Notice I don't see any chemtrails. <laughs> I'm loving it. Beautiful skies. Almost a little bit of green right in the dead center of the screen. Well, anyway, I thought I'd share it with you. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energy. Many good things. <laughs>